the guy said that um, pulling blocks from the back part, hooking and pulling back doesn't work. Kagi Uke, um, said it was developed for Naha and fishing villages. Boxes move like this. So the side to the side. So the guy throws a punch. Inside block, outside block, grab it. Pull down, punch him. He's trapped, punch, punch. Here's his foot, he wants to escape. Step on his foot, punch, punch, switch. And now I have his um, foot in his hand. I can kind of just kind of hit him like that. Um, throws a punch, knock it down. Throws a punch, knock it in. Here, counter, slippery out here. I'm also not even trying. Knock it down, knock like that. Knock here, hard. Inside, outside, bang his wrist with that. Inside, outside, slide over the top and hit him. In boxing, here's my arm. You get your right cross inside here. It brushes along. So he comes on the inside, you slip it in. So he has his guard. I get my hand on the inside, I brush along and hit him. I right, come in, I brush along and hit him. So you can slip your punches, gets inside, slips underneath and hits the guy. You got on the inside, that's like slipping a punch in. Slipping in his guard, he's punching like this. The other punch came like this. So we're swinging. We miss that chaos here, slips in and hits. You landed on my counter. That's a timing issue. Punch like this, guy's right hand. Slips over your top and hits you. A right cross does that. It slips over the hand. You have right straight. His guards like this. You throw the punch. It goes in between his hands. That's a um, right straight punch. If you try to punch, you move to the side. And now it slides over. It's right there. It hits me. It's going over this. That's a cross. His guards open. Right cross. Punches. I move, I count like this, it goes over his head. That's a cross. So straight and cross the same thing. The only difference is whether it's in his guard or slips over his head. Overhand right, you swing like a granny punch, come over and hit. One, two. You pull an arc and go like that. Granny punches is um, it's like basketball. Granny shots, come back. Granny punch for five. You start windmilling your arms. Something like that is kind of ridiculous. You're it's falling hammer fist. So here's a hammer fist and falling like that. So about the pulling block. Inside pulling block. Check, 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 check. Pull in. Check the punch and move it. Check, check, and go in. You make a contact, you're guiding it along your face. So from my tension, he throws a punch, foot out, slide, hands come up, punch comes, you guide it along, you cut down, you chop to the throat, punch the solar plexus, you uppercut, elbow. You've got options. You just need to take them down. So it's this guiding along. So he throws a punch, let's say a left right, it's easier. Hit, as you slide off to the side to avoid that. Hit, slide, you're out the way, you can't hit you. You're really guiding it along. Take the back, come up, and assist it, get on top of his hand. So here's my back leg, my right back leg, and here's my right hand. My back of my um, hand's on his, uh, the top of his arm. It's gonna turn and slide and go over. They do that in boxing all the time. It just looks different. One, two, come up knock down, come up, so when you show open hand, here's closed hands. When you're punching, uh, grapplers have their hands open to slap and grab. They keep their hands open because they want to grab, grab. Strikers, they keep their hands tight and fists because they're just going to punch that way. It's hard to go from open hand to closed hand back to open hand. It's easier just to keep your hands closed and punch, and then if you're throwing kicks or something or whatever, instead of down block this way, 
palm will drop like this, hit with the palm and straight down. It's easier to do a hammer fist block like this instead of an open hand. So you can jam your own fingers by getting a hit. So let me get to it. Throw the right punch. Block. Throw the right punch. I'm moving out the way. I'm nudging it. Come out the top. One, two. That is really slippery in that one specific spot. Good. Setting up the right with this left punch. One. Block. Counter. So. Hit that on. Or you moved a little bit more out. So you're either coming straight in. Block. One, two. Or you moved more out. Okay, well the arms are in your way. On the side, you're punching his arms this way. I'm gonna have to knock it down. It's still there. Come up, knock it down. Come over the top. It's kind of bad for me to look better. I'm on this angled thing that's got me off the foot. Punches, block. So here, block. Now, I'm gonna slide over here and get the right front arm. knocking his arm down. It can be hard, it can be soft, it can be a hybrid. One, two. Check, check. Here, you're not really making any contact, just kind of moving. So, slide back. Slide back. Almost move the side way. Slide back. One, two. Three and one, two, pull down and come up, or just kind of slide off the top. Make that slight contact for a millisecond, slide off, slide off. And close the body, turn your wrist like this, punch like this, and close, hit, hit, hit. One, two, three. Here, 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 so. So he's in right guard, he throws it to uh, John. Look, we have his connection. You can pull away to where he wants, but because I'm hanging this way, he can't really hit me that hand. He tries, I'll block my elbow and I'll break his arm. Fist. Break his nose, smash him in the face, or just his falling. Big arping coming down, smash. Hook, pull it back, I'll come with you and counter. So when you have a connection, jab, you hook, he pulls back to the speedy, then come back, hit, make a connection, pull back, his hand is on top, pulls your hand to his face. So when your hands are on top, so hot hands, his hands are on top, you have to go like that, it's hard. When your hands like this, it's like a sticky hand sensitivity. When my hands are on top, Push his hands down. Push his hands down. Pop up and counter. So his hands are like this. His hands are up like that. Get my hands on top. Knock down. Hit him. So here. His chest. Knock down to his chest. His face. His chin. Arms um, too close to him. There's types of uh, movements like that. Initially, you start with trying to be uh, perfect defense. He can't hit you. You can parry and deflect everything. Then start sliding some um, little short punches in. Technique too small. You start sliding these little punches in, a little bit kung fu y, with the long, hard, linear karate. But like these short little Wing Chun. Hey, we won't take it. He has this little stance and he's it's weird. Fires up the middle center line, almost like Lin Chun. Um, you start sliding those little punches in. They're not very powerful, just because the person doesn't have skill. Over time, your skill goes up. If that does become your style, then those are like effective punches because you made them that way. You train, you've got the power. 
So, throw the jab. Hook, knock down, counter. Hook, knock down, one, two. Either you get the hook or you don't. It's incidental. We're not aiming for this. We never aim for a grab. We never aim for a catch the punch and lead. It's defense. Throw two, throw like I'm two punches. So here, here, they come up and go for the one technique. Either it's there or it's not. He throws, miss, knock this. Make contact, but I know he's gonna come off it, pull it back. Here, instead of going for it, let it go and then the next one's coming, this is workable. Get this one. And be ready. So you know what he's gonna do before he does it. Here we're going at the same time, I'll probably lose. I have a 50 50, but this is the flick that can't hit me. And he can't use this now, it can't hit me. He has to use the next one. So as soon as this is happening and I make contact, he can't use it. He doesn't realize that yet, so contact, he still goes out. So contact, he can't use this. He's gonna have to use the next one. This fails, pulls back and uses that one. So we're planning ahead. This is bad, the next one's coming. Got this one, and we're like almost moving for the puck before he throws it. Go to the outside, cut in, go to the inside, side of the hook. He wants to pull back or escape like that, whatever. Come off the punching point. Here, counter. So, the boxer, cap the glove, pop off. Come to the inside, push it away, push it away. One, two, one, two. It's coming in like this. Circle motion. Here, Cardi has his hook. Sit your stance. Push the ball through. Because if somebody came in with a big punch, you hook and pull them down to the balance. It's almost a bad punch here. The punch is all the four off balance. Is it like a it doesn't matter if you get it or not. Hook, come on. Almost like a cat stance. And then save your stance to a front stance. The outside, the other one. The inside of his right, get into his guard. The jab, outside of his guard, slip over. Inside his right, counter. Outside his left, counter. Same thing the other way. Um, so much, I wouldn't probably go with this on the back end because that's my power hand. When he's taking it, I have to, that's, it's bad, oh, my for me. Goes with the jab. In, elbow. Here, back fist. See, there, good would be a back fist. If I get too deep, I'm too close, he's gonna counter me. Elbow. When I hold my hands like this and expose my ribs, I drop my elbows and hurt people. So throw a punch, block, throw a kick. Box. In boxing, you keep your elbows like this because that's manners. This isn't to protect you, this is to protect your opponent. Because if you're like, uh, your elbows are out, we know that's the style that's effective. This is kickboxing or the old school. Your elbows are out like this. One, two, three. Jab, cross, elbow. Jab, elbow. One, two, three. And then it's street boxing. Jail, prison. This doesn't just work on people who are like really drunk and unskilled. It works in prison fights.